So that's how they look, and they have a little okay. pouch on them. Yes. So it's actually when women, men, clean their face, you put your yeah. cleanser on and you use this, and then it comes in a wash bag, and you just pop that in the washing, and you reuse it next time instead of a wipe that you throw away or anything like that. I'm interested on in the sunscreen, like what is actually in that that is um that's so different though. Um it's a bit a lot. <laughs> um, what what are the main ingredients? Like are there certain things I guess that we should know, hey, we should really look at look out for that particular thing within the product that and try what because I thought it was like PBA or something, wasn't that something you're supposed to try to avoid? BPA, yeah, that's uh, often in plastic. So often in um, anything that, um, like in kids' drink bottles or any plastic drink bottles. So mm-hmm. and I found definitely because you often sit in um, in the heat or or your bottle stays in the car. Like I found it, like even yeah, even with coffee cups, like plastic coffee cups. I always think like, oh, I really wish they could move to a glass one or or a different way because still plastic leaches and definitely with heat it leaches into your products mm. Mm. yeah so, even like the even the ones that are, i guess espousing to be really um good for you they still think you're still getting stuff leaching in yeah and that's why like we don't do any plastic and it's Neither already way better to use a plastic cup for the earth for our planet to use a plastic um coffee cup but because I'm so concerned about our health too, I would never sell a plastic coffee cup. Yeah. Even though it's good for the planet, it's not good for you. So. Yeah, yeah. And okay. it's where you, you go. I want to be a store that when you come to, you know you're doing good for you, you know you're doing good for the planet, and you're supporting Australian families. Yeah, that's so really I just lovely. want to be that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that sort of. Uh... I do really love that combo because I think that's one of the things that, you know, I first, well, that's how I actually first came to, to know about you because I was in that uh, Willie's Coffee there. So anybody in Moffat should oh, yeah. definitely swing by Willie's Coffee. The the little business park, it's just kind of off the main track there, yeah. but Google will take you there. Um, and uh, Or Apple if it's somehow taking control of your um, GPS, but Google will definitely get you to Willie's Coffee and then go for zeros only maybe 100 metres down. But, yeah, I was talking to them about the whole social enterprise thing, talking about, you know, what I'm doing with Flicks for Good and, um, yeah, trying to set up this video streaming service. And uh, then they said, oh, you should go talk to Ellie because she, like, knows lots of different people around the place. So I'm definitely keen to dig into more of... um, more of your products to hear some of those stories because some of those people could be great to feature um on some of my yeah. shows and i mean you know look um it's really appealing <laughs> yeah here we go all right uh so it was really health week so we spoke a lot actually about uh women's periods mm-hmm. yeah now, so what was this question work about? exactly the way that I'm probably picturing this working? Like it's going to, I guess, create a seal that then captures everything in the cup? Exactly. So it's so easy because you can, when a person can put it in in the morning and you don't, you know, like if you have pads or tampons, you have to change it off because it can leak. Well, these guys, you can just put it in. You can do your surfing, your yoga, your running. You can have meetings all day. You don't have to take it out at all. Just at night when you come home, you dip it out, wash it, and put it back in. And wow. that's like it's an amazing swap. And it's obviously better for you because, you know, like it's easier once you use it. But it will save you so much money because yeah. these last, depending who you talk to, between six and eight and ten years. Like they just Oh, my goodness. Last, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then, uh, food grade silicon so they don't leach anything into your body um they're amazing, amazing. Mm. the average person uses twelve thousand tampons and pads over a lifetime wow yeah. that's pretty yeah. um pretty full-on and it's comfortable yeah you don't feel it it's don't a very it. soft, to be honest yeah it's very soft so you, once it's in that you don't feel it at all 
at wow. all at all. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Huh. And it's, a, it's one of the products that gets a lot of traction because people have heard about it, they've seen it, and honestly, when you talk to someone who uses it, they are like, everyone loves it. Everyone loves it once they use it, but it's to take that step, and you know, like it's a bit different than what you're used to, and, and yeah. it's the same lot of sustainable products, like silicon food covers are very different than glad wrap but once you use it it's so easy to use like it's it's almost a no-brainer but you have to take the step and 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 do it yeah i don't think i agree with this one (laughs) everything else so far has been going fine even the period cup i got through (laughs) through that and i thought it was useful for you know the ladies watching to be aware uh But uh, dad jokes, no, dad jokes are here to stay, I'm afraid, whether you like that or not. <laughs> Whoever's doing your Instagram is doing a pretty good job. I probably need to take a few pointers from them. Mine's kind of a little bit, a little bit sort of just, uh, I, I like to try and put more stuff in there, like little videos of Moffat Beach or around the coast and things that are kind of pretty and interesting uh, or just other kind of creative and artistic things I find that yeah. I like to mix up, you know, all of my posts to do with the shows I'm doing. But Doing the shows has kind of become a bit all-consuming um, for the time being. That okay. sunscreen, by the way, where you're hovering there, the middle part, that's a sunscreen. Yeah. This one here? Yeah. Sun butter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they look um, they look great, don't they, all the products? It's, uh, yeah, and I think, as you say, it's it's I, I get excited um, just with the idea of more and more people, I guess, tuning into doing things in a way that's better for the world and better for us as human beings and then it becoming more affordable because, like, that's, like, organic food, right? Like, if everybody or if a large chunk of people all just decided that they were only going to buy organic food, then all of a sudden all the food providers, even the ones who don't, frankly, give a shit whether you're healthy or not, you know, would then go, well, we're going to have to up our... um we're going to have to up our game when it comes to the the organic um, side of things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any, uh, I guess, horror stories or, you know, situations that have gone <laughs> badly in terms of product selection? Obviously, every business, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Like I can say I made a – I was always convinced that I wanted to make my own. Yeah. So before I had my store, but we lived in Australia, like I ran out of my skincare and I was like, oh, easy. I know everyone loves avocado oil for your face. I just put it on my face. So it was at night and I, was, I went to the kitchen and I put like that on my face and I come to my bed and my husband's like, what? What does that smell? Mm-hmm. I know it smells so strong, but it's supposed to be so good for your skin. And like in the end, I couldn't sleep with it. It was it was horrendous actually. <laughs> morning i go back to it i said like why is this good for your skin so i look at the bottom and it said like garlic infused avocado oil oh no (laughs) so i put like this stinky garlic thing on my face thinking i was doing something amazing (laughs) i probably wasn't good for my skin but it was not good for my husband's help (laughs) no you're breathing yeah that's hilarious uh so but i mean (laughs) so if it wasn't garlic infused then you'd probably be okay yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, because avocado is great, but I just didn't see it. And I've got a few like this that I think, like, oh, gosh, I'll make this, and then it doesn't come off my face. And I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's more to it than the do-it-yourself all the time, definitely for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You'll have to um, you have to have a look uh, in my – oh, it's actually on Instagram. So this is where things get a little bit tricky for people because I sort of have tried to, you know – transition get a little bit fancier and do this stuff through um these streaming packages so that i can then put it out to youtube and facebook all at once um and maybe more down the line but i was initially doing these interviews via um instagram live and so a large chunk of the interviews i've done so far actually on my instagram account which is um brad for good so if anybody's looking for that I want to see some of the prior episodes. I'll just pop that there. Um, yeah, it's just at Bradford Good. And so on there, there's an episode there with a lady um, 
who has a product called Coco Pops. I don't know if you've seen Coco Pops or ha had them. So she was having issues a bit similar to yourself, like where um, her her child was, um, uh, you, you know, having uh, had some health issues. No, maybe it was the husband had some health issues. Anyway, she ended up going down like you know, the rabbit hole of looking into products and food and what what's in everything and just finding out that um, that like a lot of the hydration products, particularly out there, like Hydrolyte and all these other things, that the sodium that they were using in them was not, you know, had issues. And it wasn't like a lot of the products that were within them that you think are actually okay um, when it came down to it weren't good. And so she went on this journey and ended up doing a lot of learning and researching and jumping through hoops to get stuff passed because it's food grade sort of product. And she's created these um, like icicle sort of, you know, like a Zupa Duper, like a Zupa Duper replacement. And uh, they're really pretty packaging and they're called Cocoa Pops. And uh, they, um, yeah, like they're mostly coconut water and they've got a few different flavors and uh, yeah, you can get hydrated and also sure can say a good hangover cure. So it's always positive. <laughs> it's just yeah. another little bonus for um, for the adults yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. she's on my, she's in within all the um, IGTV stuff and um, oh yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah, if you right. dig into it.